Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. How are you set for first aid? Car wrecks happen. Bad people do bad things. People fall down, go boom. <laughs> How are you set on first aid? I have something to show you guys today, and I haven't opened it yet. This is the Bear IFAC Individual First Aid Kit. Now, there are some cool things about this. IFACs are a dime a dozen. They're all over the internet. This one is made by a personal friend of mine. Uh, well, it's actually done by three personal friends of mine, but Bear, independent, and I'll put links down below. Uh, he conceptualized this. I was in on the beginning of this, and we had discussions and back and forth, and went through prototypes and things like that, and we've ended up with this. Uh, Bear puts it together. It is sold by another friend of mine at Adventure Frontier, Travis, and it's made, the pouch is made by another dear friend of mine, Cody, at SojournGear.com. This is all quality stuff. It's made in America. The products I'm about to show you are mostly, uh, maybe all, North American Rescue. Made in America by Americans for Americans. It smells military. For those of you who have been in the military, you know what I mean. It smells like a parachute right? <laughs> it does. I, t I didn't know that till just now. So we're going to get into this. So the first thing is the kit. It's about this big, so it's a nice size. Um, it's a tough pouch. This is probably, I'm guessing, but it's probably like 1,000 denier cordura. Um, I have a lot of stuff that Cody has sewn for me personally. He does top-notch gear. These kits are currently um, with PJs, they're uh, with two different units in the military out in the desert have ordered them. SWAT teams have ordered them. Um, they've been provided to churches and rescue groups. They come in a variety of colors. This is the one I wanted, um, this color. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm going to put my glasses on here in a minute. You have this little patch. You can put your morale patch on there, right? Um, boom. You open it up like this. This is one of the design features that I did work with. You pull this out. Boop. Now, this is going to be attached to your gear, right? It's really hard to unhook this and run with it, but you may have to pull this out and hand it to somebody to run with, right? So they pull this out, and then it opens like that. You can see everything that's in here. Um, how do I want to do this? All right, so I'm going to put the camera down. You don't need to look at my mug anyway. This is what you want to see. I'm going to put my glasses on. All right, so here is the bag. Some of you want to see the inside of it. Drain hole in the bottom. Um, there. Okay? Good bag. I'm going to set the bag aside. This is the inner bag, the inner compartment right here. And this is what you're presented with when you look at it. Right here is the tourniquet. Now, it comes packaged like this. And this is a uh, cat tourniquet. Uh, it comes like this so you know you're getting a brand new tourniquet. What you need to do uh, is take this apart, size it for your thigh, wrap it back up, and stick it back in here. You don't want it brand new in your kit uh, when you're carrying it around. But And so when I make this kit my own, that will happen. But cat tourniquet quality gear. Right here is, I'm sure this is a 14 gauge needle. All right, let's see. No, it says sterile, so I'm not going to open it. Do not use if seal is compromised. Let me see here. I'm sure this is a 14. Yep. 14 gauge 3.25 uh, decompression needle. This is for tension pneumothorax. Uh, you may not know how to do tension, <coughs> reduce a tension pneumothorax, but somebody running into the area may, and you can say, here, I have this. Uh, so they can do that. You know what this is, right? Duct tape. It rules the universe. It's for all kinds of things. Chest, chest wounds, putting on bandages, etc. Comes with this really cool rubber band. I don't know what that's for. Um, a pair of gloves, right? Nitro gloves. This right here is a emergency a trauma dressing right here. And that's who makes it, NAR. Good quality stuff. It's huge. It ends up being about this big, thick, and you can wrap it around and make it tight. Um, I call this cling or, or curlex. It's just roller gauze. 
wipes, antiseptic towelettes right here, tape, clot stop sponge. This way when you open it up it doesn't fly all over in the breeze. You can put it directly where you need it to stop the blood in quick clot, made by quick clot. Man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. A casualty blanket, very important for preventing shock. Uh, looks like 4x4s. Uh, gauze, this one says 5 inch by 9 inch. Okay, and this is a 4x4 four four right here. Gauze. Yeah, and th it just keeps coming. So you can see here, you can take care of gunshot wounds, you can take care of little wounds with this. Triangular bandage, drive-on rag, uh, you know, for making slings, doing a head wound, things like that. Compressed gauze, this stuff is awesome. It opens up once it fills with liquid and, and just absorbs things. How to apply a tourniquet directions. I'll put that over here. Uh, you should read this and practice with this stuff before you use it. More little gauze. Okay, so that's in this pocket. But wait, there's more. Look at this. This is one thing I, I, I uh, had an influence on. So, boom. EMT shears. Real ones. Not the cheap little China Mart ones uh, that fall apart and are yellow and blue and stuff like that. Um, stainless steel made in Singapore. I love Singapore. Um, let's look here. You got a combination pad here. You got another one. Lots of blood. Neopharyngeal, uh, nasal pharyngeal airway right here. And uh, two. Not one, but two because bullets go two ways. You could have a hole in the front and a hole in the back. Uh, high fill, high fin uh, chest seals. These are for sucking chest wounds also. And so that's what you get in this kit. And as you saw when I had it packed up originally, there is room to add more of your own stuff should you want to. Not only that, but you get two, count them, two bear stickers with it to proudly display in your back of your laptop, on your cubicle, <laughs> on your coffee cup, on the back of your car, whatever, bear nation. Um, Hey, let me tell you something else about money. I don't know what this kit costs. Uh, I could look it up just like you're going to be able to look it up. But I know the guys who make it and, and source it and assemble it and uh, put the thought process into it. This is, I think, the third iteration. It just gets better and better and better as it goes. Um, Bear makes about $20 per kit. That's what he makes on it. Price these kits. Look at other kits. Go ahead. Um, the contents in this kit are quality, quality made in America. And again, this isn't assembled by Chinese in some slave labor factory. This is put together by Americans for anyone, but mostly for Americans. Let's get real, right? Economies of scale. Um, I really like this. I, I'm, I'm proud of this. Uh, this is an iteration of it where everything goes in this and then this fits into your exterior bag and you can just pull it out and go. Um, all right, that is the Bear IFAC. I will put links down below where you can get this thing. Um, go check them out. Uh, you don't have to tell them PJ sent you, but if you want to, it would be cool. And uh, you need one. You need a couple. You know, put one in your car, put one on your gear, on your, you know, your rollout gear. Put one uh, in the closet so that you have it. You never know. And here's the thing about emergencies. They happen when the least convenient time. Get some now. All right. I'll see you out there.